Okay. Now, funny thing happened um, to the new LED strips. Um, when I was put them in, I guess I don't know what happened, but they bent and they cracked. Okay, the, the traces cracked very easily. So I had to solder it back, and you see the crack right here. Um, and also cracked right there. Okay, and I had to jump the traces. Took me a while, uh, so you have to be really careful with these, especially these edge the strips. Uh, do not bend the new ones, try not to, because they crack very easily, right? And it took me a while to, um, <laughs> I mean, they crack in like several different different, different places, right? So, um, I did check it, uh, double check it for you now. So I'll get my plug out down here. And all right, here's our plug that's going to our power supply for LED strips. Okay, as you can see, it's coming up and um, coming through here, and it's going one's going this way, and the other one's going that way to that strip. All right, so now the problem with this TV, this sharp, is it would not turn on until everything is plugged in, and then I have to, I think you have to hold power and menu I'm sorry power and input okay and then while you're holding that uh, plug it in plug the power cord in and then hold the button for like about five more seconds and then let it go and then try to power it on okay that's one section of the strip all right we got two lines so let's check the second line on that strip Good. 97 volts as you can see 97.5 volts all right hopefully you can see that okay and then our other strip And yeah, it's not gonna come on now. Um, until I plug in the control panel and hold down power and input and then plug it in. I'll show you that in a minute. But now I'm just gonna concentrate on putting this bad back together. So first we're gonna need our uh, white paper. Okay, so what I actually did was I actually took that diffuser screen bracket off while I had the glass off. And um, what I want to do is I just I got part of this is sticking out. Okay. And then we want to also align the grooves on the bottom. So this only goes on one way also. Push those up. Okay. That's lined up. That's lined up. That's lined up. And we have two more 
thin diffusers. Okay, now same flavor. Got notches on the bottom. As we see, we have two screens. Make sure you keep them together and do not get those turned around either. It looks, it looks like there's three screens actually. Yeah, there's actually three, three, well, two screens. I don't know. Make sure you keep them together. I'm gonna line the bottoms up first. And these grooves here. I'm gonna look at these corners really good and make sure the screen is inside of these corners. Okay, that looks good. That one looks off, right? This is off right here. Compared to this side. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Definitely make sure, especially on the edges, the corners, I mean, that it is perfectly square. Okay? Let's go. I'm just gonna see if I can snap these back in. No problem. Get my holes lined up. Alright guys, make sure when you put these brackets on here, just make sure the TV is level. You can see it's kind of bent because I got it on its back and it's kind of bending. So that's why these brackets, well I don't have a problem with these brackets, but they got to do is just see that? Just lift it up on one side and the bracket becomes straight. So especially with those brackets, don't force them on there because you're going to crack the screen. Alright, so just like same with this one. See that? If I, if I, if I let it go, it gets uneven comes apart so so just you know put it on there and um, straighten it out and then put the screws in there and you should be fine
top with our driver boards going to T-Con. Goes through these favorite beads first. Okay. Obviously the speakers there, and then this is our Wi-Fi module right here. So this is our Wi-Fi module here. This is our standby light with our, yes, yeah, our standby light, and this is our infrared detector for the remote. So all these plugs are only, only are all different sizes, so you can tell which one goes where. Evidently, right? And our control panel is right here. Okay, this is for the speaker. Speaker and control panel goes right here where I marked it at. Right? Somewhere over there. So let's plug her in and see what we get. Okay, so to get this on the first time, because you got the error code in there from the backlight problem. Um, we're gonna have to hold power and input, okay. Hold that down simultaneously at the same time, right? And then, wait a few seconds, plug it in, plug in the power while you're still holding it. Okay, I'm still holding power in the input. All right, I'm going to let it go. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit power. Okay, otherwise when you plug it in, you still gotta get that one long, one short blink. Well, look at what happened. All right, look what I got now. Should be coming up in a minute. Come on. Look at that. I got a piece of the picture missing. <laughs> All right. If I hit menu, still got menu on there, okay. And I got a piece of the picture missing. And I'm gonna show you what happened. The TV is a pain in the ass. You get one of these every once in a while. This connector came loose. See that? So I don't know where that came from when I was putting it back together, putting the bracket back on, pushing it in too hard. But I want to try and fix that and see. Okay guys, I went over this thing like four or five times. Um, so hopefully that should do it. Unfortunately, I couldn't use my microscope because I didn't want to damage the screen, try to move it around and stuff like that, and it wouldn't fit. So I had to do it with my super duper, my super, my Superman glasses, <laughs> right? Just make sure you're not holding any other buttons. Make sure you're just, you're just holding power and input. I'm going to power it on. Keep holding it. I'm going to let it go. Actually, the white, the uh, light should be solid white. All right. And then once I hit power, let's see, it should go off, right? Power. Let's see what we got. Aha. Uh -huh. I see something on the side. Hit menu, and as 
you can see, there is our menu. We have a picture on that side that was getting the white, the white uh, screen. And I'm gonna do is plug in my, uh, that little meat stick. Plug that up. Turn this off. So you can see it better. There we go. A little Android stick there. Excuse all the lights I got, but so you get the picture. Aha, uh -huh. looks good. All right, guys, got it all back together. Finally, man, I stopped working on the TV for 12 hours, man. I started by 12, it's like one o'clock in the morning, bro. I mean, I took a few breaks in between, but this should have been finished. I mean, this TV was harder than trying to uh, get Jason Smollett to go to jail, you know what I'm saying? That's all right, boy. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in, and I'll plug it in so many times. Uh, after a while, I may just come on right on, let me see. That light's flashing. Uh, it's actually off. Is it gonna come on? Ah, there it goes. HDMI 4. Okay. We are good. We are good, guys. Finally. Okay. So, guys, uh, uh, make sure that you do subscribe for more videos. And, uh, if you like the video, give me a like. If not, you know what to do, right? But anyway, that's it guys, we are done. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Big Dog, out.